Hello everyone, it's Jessica and thanks for joining me today. I'm a little behind on making my videos. I've been making cards but not getting my videos made. Um, I really like this snowflake card. I've got a, um, some cool items in this video. As always, I'll link everything in the description box. Okay, this is a Fist Scars Paper Crimper. I've had this forever, but they are still available. These are, um, I've had these forever. It's just a card value pack. You can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And this is a, a border die that um, I picked up off of Amazon. Or no, sorry, AliExpress. And um, this is a 12 by 12 paper pad that I found at Tuesday mornings. I think it's so cute. And I do flip through it show you all the papers that are in it. It is craft paper. And a lot of these actually, um, I think that you could uh, try to stamp them out um, and kind of copy that. But I've just started using it, but I, I really like it. And it was only $6.99. Okay, so I want my card to be a little smaller, so I trimmed it down to the A2 size. And actually, I'm making two. The other one I left more square. I'll have to look up the size of that because I didn't write that down. And so I'm just running the border die through the uh, my big shot here. And I'm searching for my paper piercing tool, but I couldn't find it, so I'm using a paintbrush here to poke out the little circles. So this die I got from AliExpress and there were two and it was just $2.16, but I think it's um, awesome. Okay, and I've got the paper crimper here. Now I love this corrugated look, but I struggle with um, getting it straight. It really want the paper just wants to kind of um, veer <laughs> and I don't know so I tried it both ways and then I looked at some YouTube videos for some tips on using it um, but it's just hard to get the line straight because it wants to veer off so if you have any tips you can um, leave leave that in the comments below so I'm trimming down my paper and I went with this plaid pattern and I'm going to use it for both cards and um, I usually use my paper distressing tool to give a little dimension to my paper edge so that's what I was doing. I ran the paper through the big shot to get that edge on this piece of paper but I don't want the circles so I want to cut that off. I just wanted the curved part. So I'm taking my scissors and cutting that off and then my paper distressing tool to smooth that out and trim it down to to kind of um, to look nice. Now I am using my Tombow multi-purpose glue to glue the panel down. And here I didn't I, ended, I didn't end up going with this sentiment. I decided to change it. Um, so instead I went with the tags and trimming stamp set from Stamping Up. It says celebrate the season and I'm going to emboss that in red. This is from Recollections. I got that at Michael's. Okay, so I'm melting the embossing powder. Then I decided to um, try to emboss the buttons that um, is part of the stamp set but I didn't like how those turned out. Um, I guess they were okay, but I didn't, in person, it, the detail was lost. And so I end up using white brads that I have in my stash. Okay, so I end up embossing these, a bunch of them, in uh, white and red. And I could have cut this out, but I decided to show it just in case somebody might want to try it. Um, this stamp set will 
um, be retired and no longer available um, January 2nd. So if you're interested in that. And Stamping Up's new um, occasions catalog uh, will come out January the 3rd. Um, so I've got a sneak peek at that. And there's some cute stuff. Okay, this ribbon right here, I always show it. It was a set of eight. It's craft in red, and there were, I got it at Michael's, and there were um, different colors available. And I'm using just the solid red, kind of help keep the card closed. So here are the little white button brads, and I just cut the back prongs off using some jewelry pliers. And I actually was making this card for a sketch, and so that's why I arranged these brads like that. Otherwise, I, I probably I wouldn't have done that. But so that's why I put them on there like that. I entered this card into the My Favorite Things Sketch Challenge. And I'm going to use some hot glue to glue them down. And I actually just glued them down to a little piece of craft circle. in Because I didn't want to use the hot glue on directly on the card. And so there's this finished card. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing to this card. Um, I'm cutting, I ran it through the big shot and I'm cutting those circles off so I can uh, have the curve. This is a linen background stamp, which is retired. I'm using it to um, die cut the snowflakes out. I, I didn't think that white paper would look, it would look too stark. And so I wanted some a little bit of craft in there. Now I got these items from the Target Dollar Spot. Uh, so they're pretty cool. I did a video showing those. Um, and so that was a dollar. I'm gonna use, it's a little wooden tag. It says, tis the season. And it's kind of um, got a weathered look to it. And I am using the paper distressor to smooth the edge out. There's like eight different um, options here on this tool. And I don't have the best camera equipment, so I didn't get it focused right here. Sorry about that. Well, I've got Whisper White ink and I'm inking the edges of the paper using an ink blending tool. And I also go ahead and add a little more white to the snowflakes. Okay, and so it started getting dark outside and also I have a two and a half year old. So I uh, assembled this card off camera and I just used some of my Tombow multi-purpose glue to adhere everything down and to finish the card. And if you like this card, don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my cards, uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you and um, have a wonderful day.